What's up, guys? This is Jaime from Pierce the Veil, hanging out with my Ernie Ball bass. You're watching The Sound of Warped. Me, I could swim until your thoughts like your drugs to realize your body's sick and tired. I get inspired a lot by other bands that we tour with, you know, just watching what they do well. You know, I didn't even know what a Sans amp was until I found out on tour. And I was like, man, how do you get your bass to sound like that? And, you know, sure enough, get this pedal, it's $100 and it'll change your life. And it really did, you know. My rig in, in particular, it's, it's pretty much a studio rig with like the Sans amp, uh, with, with the mini amp peg. The Micro VR, it's essentially a mini SVT. So this is my main head. And then it goes to the pre. And then the pre is just a clean sound. No, it's, it's literally a DI. And then I have the post, which is ran with the Sans amp in the back. So this is the dirty. And then obviously the, the Ampeg goes to this little, it's two eights with a 421. So our front of house guy gets three separate channels. So he can blend them, mix them for certain parts. You know, if, if it needs more of a crunch, he gets more of the post. If he needs more of the low end, he goes pre. And then obviously all the mids and stuff are coming from the mic. Sometimes you want it to be a little bit grittier on certain songs, more aggressive songs, faster songs, and then for the more mellow songs, you can pull it back. And the best part about this rig, is, which I really like, is when I go to international shows, I go to Europe or I go to anywhere uh, and traveling, this middle section slides completely out, closes, and that's just my rig. something a little bit different uh, and we had a tour that we kind of all had white guitars. It's a Stingray 4, it's a 2 EQ, it's got the volume, uh, tone and the bass. We tune half step down, uh, drop C sharp, half step for the other strings and the low string is, is, uh, is C sharp and then the lower gauge strings are in B. So they're nothing too nuts. I play power slinky. For the lower tunings, I use a five string gauge. You get so used to like the color scheme of Ernie Ball strings, you're just like, I, I, give me the purples. I've only played Ernie Ball and Ernie Ball strings always. I think I started playing them just because I saw Mike Herrera from the MXPX just toss his straight into the sky one time and his tech just flew out of the gate, just caught it. You know, those basses always just have that kind of, um, they have that tone. They're just good, solid basses. I've dropped that thing so many times and it for some reason just stays alive. Yeah,